Hello everyone, it's Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. And just in case you haven't noticed, but I think you will, I'm wearing a hat. This is for Priscilla, because she asked me if I still had my cable hat that I knit last year. Yes, Priscilla, I do. This is it. I'm showing it to you. Remember the cable? The cable and the garter stitch in between. I still wear it in the winter, only in the winter. But I've discovered something. A lot of people that do um, videos, well, Priscilla, um, Darlene on Discovering Knitting, Priscilla is um, distinctive crochet. They all wear hats at one time or other. And I think I will wear one as well. I don't need to worry whether my hair's tidy or anything because it's stuck under this hat. But I thought I would just put it on and let Priscilla because she did ask if I still had this um, hat. And this is actually my own design. When I do my own designs, they fit better. <laughs> I don't know why I follow other people's patterns, because I can do them just as well myself. But anyway, I'm on today and I'm telling you, I usually go to my granddaughter's on a Sunday for my Sunday dinner. I have done for a long time. Except when there's snow on the ground. I do not drive anyway when there's snow. I did have an accident one time um, and my car swerved terrible and I've never driven in snow since and my granddaughter's not keen and she could come and pick me up but she's not keen on driving in the snow either so well, she messaged me but I was going to message her and tell her that I was come down today and I said that I have everything at home to make my own Sunday dinner and I do need a bit practice because I've been going having it at yours for a long time. So I have been doing a little bit knitting and I've decided um, this is the one I'm doing for my other channel which I'm going to do um, a tutorial for so I thought I'm going to do a little bit more of this and get the, um, the tutorial up because uh, my subscribers seem to have slowed down on that channel I think because I haven't been Putting anything um, up on it. So I thought, um, since I'm not a Cheryl, I'll have time to do a little bit knitting, uh, my own knitting here. But I am still on my laptop, which I've had an awful lot of trouble with. And I thought I was going to have to buy a new laptop because I just could not get it to, um, to work properly. And uh, I thought it was the internet at first. And Turned out it wasn't the internet because the internet was working fine on I have another laptop, it was working fine on there. It was working fine on my phone, on my tablet, so it's not the internet. And everything was so slow and programs wouldn't open up properly when I was trying to, um, to do things. And I didn't like using my other laptop because the, um, the video on it is not very good quality. And I like this one because it's a better quality. The, um, the video on it and so I had a really good muck about with it and I'm going to show you a little bit of what I did do on it um, to get it working better so I will be back in a minute or two and this is my laptop and this is the edge here you can see a very thin line that you have to get into all the way down here all the way around there and up the other side and you have to get to lift that to get into the workings of this computer and I hadn't a clue and I'm looking and then I looked on the side yeah, there's a hole up here and I never knew what that was for. So just out of curiosity, 
I push my screwdriver in there. When you push the screwdriver in there and push it, it pushes that corner up just enough to get a, a very thin knife in all the way around here. And that's what I did. Took a little while. I've actually damaged the edges here. You, you can't see it's going blurry my phone there. You can see the slight little marks here and there where I've been pushing the knife in to, to lift it up. But I got it up and then I've got my little brush here. I put that on the other side. I'm not going to lift it up to show you because I've done it all. But I use that inside to brush the fan and everything inside so there's no dust anywhere and the the thing is along the back underneath underneath this bit here that's where the um i don't know what you call it the thing for the air to let the air out and anyway and as you can see i've got one of those things on the underneath it to cool it, a cooler. But only thing is, I have a bit of trouble. I think I need a new wire for it because this wire here, look, when I when I move it, it goes up. I've got to keep it in a certain place underneath so that I think there must be a break in the wire somewhere. So I'm going to have to get a new wire for that to keep the um, to keep it cooling. <laughs> and I have a. Like you can see, I have a Rose's chocolate tin I stand my computer up on that so I don't have to look right down on my coffee table. But after I cleaned out all the dust and everything, it seems to be working perfect now. I've tried every single app on it and it comes up without any trouble at all. So I think all it needed was a bit of dust clearing out. And... um. The thing I've got underneath to, uh, the fan to keep it cool. So I'm hoping that's my problem sorted. That I'm not going to have any more trouble because I like this computer with it having the better, um, the better quality webcam on it. So that's what I had to do to get it working. And I've even cleared things from the computer when you start up your computer there was loads of things coming on the screen and I had to go into all the, the device manager and all the rest of it in the computer and clear out all that rubbish and and that was a little bit of what I did to get my computer working um, better but I did go through everything on it and got a lot of updates that needed um, needed doing on it and I had a lot of trouble where there was like noises like whirring noises it must have been the dirt in the um in the fan and I did a lot of um I went into the device manager in your computer and clicked on things to test my um hard drive because I thought my hard drive was going up the creek and that came up with perfect, nothing wrong with it, scanned it and everything, and it was all right. And so I know, well, there's nothing wrong with the hard drive. So I couldn't understand what the noises and that were. But I did a lot of Googling, and it did say that um, if you've got a lot of dust and that, that comes in the, um, you know, those places, I don't know what you call them on the bottom of the computer that keeps the, um, lets the air in and out of the um, the computer. I'll have to think and my mind goes when you get old I kind of remember words you know things <laughs> but anyway it seems to be working fine I've been clicking on all the all the apps and everything on the um the screen and everything's coming up straight away and nothing's working slow like it was before I was clicking on things going on to YouTube and I couldn't even upload anything on it it was just taking I was clicking on it and it was taking about a minute for it to come up 
and then when I was trying to type things in, it was taking another minute each. The words were coming up. I typed a letter, a few letters, and it took about a minute before those letters come up on the um, the thing, and I had to use my other laptop. But um, I'm back to this one, and I'm hoping that I found everything that was wrong with it, and it's working fine now. So I don't have to mess about with it anymore because I have spent an awful lot of hours on it trying to get it working properly and you know you get so annoyed when things don't don't go right for you but uh, I've got it going anyway and I never went out last night with the snow we did get snow and that and all my friends who we have bingo have a bingo night with they all wanted to go out last night because there was a um a band on at this place where we go for our bingo and all that but i kept telling them i said there was snow on the ground there was no way i was going and it did snow it was snow by tea time <clears throat> but i had told them before that because of the wind and that i wasn't uh going so i stayed in and did my knitting last night and I actually got a bit more of this is Claudette's cardigan. I'll go and get that because I've got it over the other on my other chair. I'll be doing a bit of this later on as well. But I've got the back done. Now this is to measure 50 inches. But it is quite short because Claudette wants it just waist, waist level. So I've got the back done. And the, the left, that's the left front. Now I've started on the... Oh, that's my other knitting. <laughs> I've started on the right front. I have got that many bits of knitting. And I've just started on the right front, but I'll be doing a bit of that later uh, later on when I get a bit more of the um bit more of this one done. And you know this pattern. <laughs> this is one of the patterns that Sandra sent me that I'm using for for Claudette's cardigan. And that's the pattern I'm doing. When you're making a little bit shorter than what it is on here. And it's quite a simple pattern. It's just a kind of it's not a straightforward um rib. It's a um a knit two and pearl one on one side, and those stitches are you do the knit two pearl one on the other side, but uh, that still looks like one by one on the the actual pattern hard to explain but this pattern I'm doing 50 inch for Claudette and it just the back just measures that 25 inches and I'm doing it off the 40 inch on this pattern the pattern only goes up to 44 and I've got the number of stitches it says for a 40 inch this is Aaron and I'm using five millimeter yeah, so the five, I think, I think I'm using, I'm checking these needles. Yes, five. No, the six millimetre needle. I need a magnifying glass, I can't say that properly. I know what I'll do, I'll tell me what. <laughs> Yes, the five millimetre needles. <laughs> I'm not. Wait, is the pattern? Is the pattern? Yes, the pattern says five millimetre needles. That's what I'm using. In the back, told me to cast on. I did a swatch first, and I worked out how many stitches for to get for the back to measure twenty five inches for the swatch from the swatch. Told me that I needed a hundred and two stitches around about 102 stitches and that's what the 40 inch size on this pattern sees 102 stitches so anybody doing this pattern 
really needs to do a swatch before you start because the sizes if you go by just your um your chest size it's going to be massive because this is supposed to be the 40 inch it says will measure 44 and a half inches but it's not it's going to be nearer 50 inches when it's finished so anybody doing this pattern really needs to do a swatch before you stop or else this pattern is just going to be massive and I have even on the the instructions for the um the armhole I've altered that slightly I haven't done it exactly the way the pattern says because it just wasn't going to come out right but anyway that's how far I've got with it And I let you see when I get more and the sun is shining in this room again. It's either sunshine making it too bright or it's a dark day making it too dark. You can never have a happy medium. So I'm putting that little bit of that away. And I just mentioned to one of the other ladies comments about all the things I've got on the go at the moment. I have that one I'm doing for Claudette. This one that I'm doing. The yellow one I'm doing. My bag. The brown one that I'm doing. This is cinnamon, it's called cinnamon, this colour. That's another one I'm doing. <laughs> Put them in there. This is Dagri's poncho I'm doing. I also have a crochet blanket I'm doing for, um, for Dagri. I think that's seven things I have on the go. I'm going to have to finish some of these things, you know. <laughs> I get carried away and start one thing and put it down and start another thing. And so I'm definitely not going to be knitting any hats, any more hats until I get some of these things finished. So that's my little bit for today. So thumbs up and subscribe and I'll let you know how I get on with anything. If I finish something, you'll see it. So bye for now.